Thus, Russia recruited dredging firms from Iran and China to take part in the process of cleaning up the Volga River. Western nations, on the other hand, have serious reservations about this since they perceive this collaboration as a kind of support for Russia's aggression as a kind of support for Russia's aggression on Ukraine. Is this something that really occurs? This is a channel about actual projects that people are working on. If you are willing to help me out, you may subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Discovering new and fascinating initiatives is something we should do together. In point of fact, the Volga is considered to be Russia's mother river. It is the river with the greatest length in Europe and the biggest length of any inland river anywhere, anywhere in the globe. The Volga River begins its journey 3,688 kilometers to the north of Moscow, where it empties into the Caspian Sea, which is the biggest inland body of water in the world. In addition to this, the Volga River has a rather mild gradient over its whole length. On the one hand, a significant portion of Russia's infrastructure has not been modernized for a very long time. As a result, the demand placed on the country's railway and road transportation systems has been quite high. On the other hand, in order to construct one kilometer of railroads or roads, about three hectares of land are required. But nearly no land is required in order to utilize natural rivers or seas. Because of the chilly climate in Russia, the process of developing frozen food takes longer and costs more money. As a result, Russia places a greater emphasis on river shipping. Russia made the decision to broaden and deepen the Volga River Channel in order to reduce the amount of stress placed on the river's shipping industry. The proposal calls for the average water depth of the Volga River Channel to be much more than 4.5 meters. Indeed, this is a massive undertaking for a river that extends over 3,688 kilometers. The dredging capability of Russia's whole local dredging fleet is 40,000 cubic meters per hour. This is due to the fact that Russia's dredging equipment and technology have fallen behind the leading level in the world. In the event that the Volga River dredging project is finished by the Russian community, since it is such a massive undertaking, it is possible that completion will take more than 10 years. On the other hand, considering the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, the majority of nations across the globe have decided to deny Moscow's offer to cooperate. Iran and China are the only two trustworthy partners that Russia may select to work with in order for this project to be finished as quickly as it possibly can thanks to Russia's participation. If this is the case, then why did Iran and China decide to work with Russia? In point of fact, the Iranian Ocean Industries Corporation has worked closely with Russian companies for a very long time. In the past, Iran has provided engineering cooperation to Russia on its internal river routes. This assistance was provided by Iran. In addition, the Iranian Ocean Industries Corporation has produced a wide range of different kinds of industrial equipment for Russia and for Iran. Businesses that focus on exporting products or technology to Russia should expect to see healthy financial returns. Sanctions imposed by the United States are directed against both Russia and Iran. As a consequence of this, the international political objectives of these two nations are compatible with one another. According to China, the majority of the collaboration that takes place between China and Russia is focused on economic matters. Also, China and Russia have a long history of working together in the field of commerce. China is now the nation with the most dredging activity on the planet because of its highly developed infrastructure engineering capabilities. The inclusion of China in the dredging project will make its completion much more manageable. In addition to this, the canal of the Volga River serves as a connection between the many transit routes that are located on the Eurasian continent. It is possible that in the not too distant future, this canal will play a significant role in Asia's export of commodities to Europe. Moreover, China will be able to engage in economic commerce through this waterway. As a result, this collaboration in the field of engineering benefits both Russia and 
There are allegations in the media in the United States that China and Iran have joined Russia's military alliance. Yet, in the view of Western nations, the business collaboration between China and Iran is considered as support for the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. When Naval River is extended, the Russian Caspian Sea Navy will be able to easily approach the Sea of Ov via the Volga River to join in the fight, which will give Russia an edge in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. But is it really? Goods from China could be transported by train to Moscow. And from there, they could be transported to the Caspian Sea in Europe via the Volga River. China and Russia cooperate more in terms of commercial cooperation, but China will not join the military alliance that Russia has organized in the past. The original river, however, is unable to accommodate the growing volume of cargo on the Volga River because of the strain that has been put on it by ships. After the dredging project of the Volga River is finished, bigger cargo ships will be able to travel here. Large cargo ships from China, Iran, and India will all be able to sail here once the project is finished. It will be easier for Russia to export its own commodities, which is a development that will be beneficial to the economy and commerce of the Eurasian continent as a whole. This dredging project collaboration provide China with a chance to exhibit its own dredging project strength, which is an important goal for China. China's dredge engineering technology has become the most advanced in the world as a result of over 40 years of investment in industrial upgrading. Dredging occurs on a yearly basis in China at a volume that is more than 1 billion cubic meters. Heavy dredging ships that are among the biggest in Asia include the Ten Kun and the Tianjing both of which were independently designed by China. Around 6,000 cubic meters per hour is the operational efficiency of their operation. With their assistance, they are able to both mince and dredge the material on the bottom, regardless of whether it is rock or silt. As a result, there will be a significant decrease in the likelihood that huge cargo ships may get stranded. In the future, when the Vulcan's transport carrying capacity has been increased, we will be able to, the Volga River will have the capacity to accommodate a greater number and size of big cargo ships, and the amount of goods that can be transported along the Volga River will also rise. By the use of this canal, Russia will have a greater opportunity to grow its own economy. In addition, the cost of shipping from here to the Caspian Sea in Europe may become cheaper for a number of nations, including China, Iran, and India, amongst others. My prediction is that in the years to come, commercial commerce in this area will see increased levels of success.